I'll survive Channel the drive Not to pry listening to the special holiday house hunt with Laura Cusimano and we were just playing Frank Walker's song Not the Only One with Jen Chapin that's Harry Chapin's daughter and uh, Frank wrote this song for the Prune Belly Syndrome Network organization and all the proceeds go to the organization and Frank you're going to make me start crying (laughs) right now I got myself already (laughs) but I, I just I do have to mention one other thing before we start really crying mm. um, I, I did play that song today in lieu of doing I usually do um, a, a little thing for LA Pulse magazine we, we were doing the holiday fun facts but I thought it would be more important to do your song today to get the word out there thank you so um, that was sponsored by LA Pulse magazine and you can pick up a copy today for all the latest things Long Island including real estate and market trends you, rec- you can request a free issue at www.lipulse.com Long Island Pulse magazine it's defining a Life, styles, and culture. So now we're back. Don't cry too much on me, though. <laughs> too late. <laughs> so you you actually wrote that song when you found out about the organization and you found out you were not the only person out there with this. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. I was um, 35 before I met someone else with it. Wow. So, uh, and that's one thing about the conventions that they have every year is that a lot of times, actually this past one, I believe, it was almost all new people that came to the convention and met each other for the first time ever. Wow. And Tammy, you were at the convention too. You went to the past two years. Yes, I went to the past two years. And and tell us like from an outsider, seeing that experience of people, somebody that has this and never met anyone else uh, with it before, what was it like? Listening to the stories, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know, because they feel very isolated. And when they come together and they meet somebody who's going through the same things, because most of us go through, you know, our child, which is colds and things like that. These kids are in the hospital. They're sick. They sometimes have to wear bags, things that we wouldn't normally have to do until we're much older or never in our lives, um, you know, going through surgeries. So for them to see somebody who has the same scars from the same surgeries, to see somebody who has the same condition, it's, you know, for them, it's priceless to have somebody that they can bond with that wow. has been through it, that understands what they go through on a daily basis. And it also gives them the opportunity, the kids, to just be kids for, you know, a time being. Um, and the adults, when you hear the adults go through in their, you know, in their 30s or 40s and they've met, never met another person who had it and they're meeting somebody who understands what they've gone through it's it's you know it's overwhelming to hear their stories yeah and i i just want to say it again if you can go to the website and check it out it's prunebelly syndrome network.org nope i'm saying it wrong 
Yeah, Frank, prune, tell us it. It's prunebelly.org. Prune, oh, it's nice and short. There you go. <laughs> Prunebelly.org. It's okay. And, um, you know, you may know somebody that actually has this. That's what That was why I wanted to have Frank on today to talk about this. Because, you know what, there's so many gigantic organizations out there and charities that people donate to. But not a lot of people know about the small ones. And uh, these people need help and need to... Uh, find other people with the same illness so that they can have a better life. And especially today, between your convention and you can have FaceTime or you could do Google Hangouts with each other or just email, you have a support system for each other to get through whatever hospitals and operations that you have that you're going to be going through in your life. Exactly. exactly And Laura, as myself, as a parent, the network's priceless because there are other people that understand the helplessness as a parent that you have as you watch your child go through this. But our son's been going to a convention since he was born, essentially, and and uh, Nicholas doesn't think himself any different than any other child that walks this earth. He thinks prune belly is just a normal part of life. And wow. I'm thankful that he doesn't have to feel different. And it's because of people like Frank that that's yeah. a part of who he is. Uh, well, boy. <laughs> well, Frank, you are a great guy. That's definitely true. Thank so, you. Debbie, can you tell us, uh, tell me and the listeners out there, how how can we help? How can we help your organization? We operate completely on private donations. So right now, our biggest goals, of course, are our research. The research has changed prune belly as we know it, and uh, that's by because of Dr. Linda Baker out of Dallas, Texas. She's been traveling with us to our convention, doing the genetic research, and then taking that information and taking it to the AUA, which is the American Neurological Association, and changing doctors' minds about what the possibilities are with prune belly. And uh, she's also formulating a team that's helping us to get a standard of care, because there is still no standard of care for prune belly. Wow. Money is the key to research. Dr. Baker was recently awarded a $1.25 million research grant to continue her research on Prune Valley. But in order to do that, we, on the private level, have to continue to raise funds to host these conventions and these family meetups to bring families together so that they contribute their genetic samples there. That's that's a large portion of our convention. It's not only to bring the families together, but also to complete the research while they're there. We bring Dr. Baker with us, make it as convenient as we can. She brings her entire research team in. They help with all the, the study paperwork and getting everything going. Wow. And now there's sev- oh. there's several different ways on the website that somebody can donate. Can you just give us a little brief mm-hmm. synopsis of the different types of donations that you that you do? The, there's a drop down under donation, and there is a button for research that would go directly to getting some of these family meetups done. There's a little wishes and convention scholarship drop down. Those are related directly to the family. Little wishes pays for some of the survivors and their siblings to go on different events, baseball games and museum outings while convention's going on. And then uh, the convention scholarship program helps to fund the room fees at convention for some of the families that are struggling with their medical bills and just need some assistance in order to be able to be at that event. Okay, and now they can get to you by going to Mm prunebelly.org or they can also call in their donation and you have an 800 number. Can you tell it to us? That would be 855 A-K-E-B-S-N. And you can call that 24 hours a day, not just to make a donation, but if you're a family that's discovered that we're out there for you, call us if you need help, if you want to connect, and we're always available. Okay, that's great. And I'm going to post information on the House Hunt's uh, Facebook page and on the website. So we're, we're almost out of time. So before we say goodbye, I just want to thank Frank, Tammy, and Debbie for joining me today. Please help the prunebelly.org. A small donation can help bring hope to these individuals and families that are coping with prune belly. I also like to thank my sponsors, Christina Shaw the, of the Christina Shaw Allstate Agency. You can call for a quote. Mention our show and get a $10 Dunkin' Donut gift card. You can dial or text Christina at 516-900-1234. For all your mortgage and refinancing needs, call Nancy Hall at The Mortgage Advantage on her direct line at 516-480-0092. Remember, you can receive a complimentary L.I. Pulse magazine at www.lipulsemagazine.com. L.I. Pulse Magazine, defining lifestyles and culture. And if you're thinking about buying a home on Long Island or the Palm Beaches, 
You can learn more about an exclusive buyer agent and what they can do for you. You can get more information on my firm by visiting thehousehunt.info. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas weekend and the rest of the holiday season. We'll, we'll be on the air soon. Bye. Bye.